Hello, welcome to this presentation. Today I'm going to talk about articles. As you can see on the board, uh, in English we have two different kinds of articles. On one side we have indefinite articles, that is a, and well you have to remember that we use an when, when, the, follow, when the word, the substantive, begins with a vowel and then we say an, for example an elephant, an apple, because if not, it's very difficult to pronounce a apple. Eh? So that's why we, we say an instead of a. Well, these indefinite articles are used, as you can see there on the board, before unspecified singular countable nouns. That means that when we've got plural nouns, we can use these articles. It's also used before professions. For example, I am a teacher or in expression of measurement. Uh, for example, uh, one euro a kilo. Right? So, uh, remember, indefinite, the indefinite article is used before unspecified singular countable nouns. Mm? Non-uncountable, right? For uncountable nouns, we use the expression some. For example, I would say, this is a table, and when I have more than one, I would say, these are some tables hmm, for uh, plural nouns. Hmm. Right, um, this is quite simple, the use of, of the indefinite article, you just have to remember the rule. On the other side we have also the indefinite article, the article de, hmm, as you can see here on the board, right? Uh, the use, we use this article before a specific noun that we have mentioned before. That means, as the, it is definite, we should know what, what we are talking about or, or, or when we read this, uh, this article, we should um, consider that this noun has appeared before in a text or in a conversation. Or when it's very clear what we are talking about. For example, when I say, I'm going to the bank, the bank, everybody knows what's a bank, or I'm going to the post office, or I'm going to the town hall. Everybody, know, everybody knows all these names, and that's why uh, we use the definite article. Uh, for example, when we have a noun uh, that is de defined, as we have, for example, um, the table of the student, eh, when it's joined by a preposition of, eh, the, the, um, the car, of, uh, of, the head ma of the headmaster. Mm -hmm. Also, the article there is used before adjectives to specify a category of, of people or things. Uh, for example, uh, the, the old, the rich. Here, really, we are, we are thinking about the rich people, the old people. Mm -hmm. And also it's used in superlative expressions. As you know, the most inter this is the most interesting uh, presentation I've never heard, right? Then the, mm? the, the, the article the. Also, there are some expressions or some nouns which um, uh, are preceded by the, and I think I consider that they are interesting that you know them because, I mean, we, we have to say these nouns with the article the. No a, uh, never a, uh, right? For example, we say the sky because it's only one, it's definite. The sea mm, because it's also one. The ground, the ground. Mm. Um, the country, but the country not talking about a country, that it's a, um, for example, Spain is a country. No, the, I'm going to the country with the trees, with, with uh, I mean, have a house in, in the country, etc. Mm? Outdoor. Mm? Also, we have to say the same. Mm? We have to say the radio. Mm? Uh, listen to the radio, right? But mm, on the contrary, we say television. We don't, we don't say the article there. Mm? We also say breakfast. We have breakfast, we have lunch, we have dinner. We don't, ha we don't say the dinner. Eh? It's like in a used in a general sense. Home, go home. Mm? go to bed, eh, go to, but it means go to sleep, right? When we are talking about the object, the bed, we use the article there, or work. 
I go to work. Mm? I go to work, for example. Uh, there is one exception here that you should notice that is when we are talking about public places, for example, a school, a hospital, a church, in a place that we have um, workers and people just visiting the place, we, uh, we have to write the, this place with article, with the article there, when um, we are visiting it. For example, I'm going to the hospital to visit my, my, my father. Right? But if you're working there, you don't use the, the, um, the, the article there. Hmm? For example, um, I go to school because I am a teacher. Hmm? But if my mother says that, she would say, I'm going to the school to see my daughter. Hmm? This, this is the difference you have to take into account. Hmm? Then remember, ah, for indefinite article and definite nouns, Singular and therefore definite nouns or it is a definite situation, determined situations, right? Remember that de is used for singular and plural, while a is only used for singular nouns. There is another, I mean, way mm, that I consider that quite a lot of students. Uh, commit errors is when um, you don't have to write an article mm? because in general I, I think you know when you have to use the article there or we don't, you don't have to use the article there but sometimes you get confused when you don't, you don't have to write an article mm? at all. For example, um, when, when, when we should use this? We should use this with uncountable nouns used in a general sense as you can see on the board when we say information is power Mm? Information, in general sense, power too. Then it's not definite or indefinite. It's, it can be uh, with, the, with the article A because it's um, uncountable and um, it can be used with the article D because it's not definite. It's general, right? Also, we, use, uh, we don't use the, the article when we are referring to a specified plural noun. For example, as you can see in the example, people love animals, right? People, people, general, plural nouns, they are not specified, we are talking in general, so uh, I don't use some people or something like that, no, I just mm, don't say the article. And finally, before the name of people or places. Valencia, for example, or here I have a, an example that really is a bit updated. Um, well, it should be updated that this President Aznar, ex-President Aznar, right? We should say now President Zapatero. But before this, now we don't use the, the, the article. Hmm? Okay? Then remember all the rules. The use of the article is not very difficult, but quite a lot of the errors are produced because uh, Sometimes you don't know how to use the, the adequate article. Hmm? Then my advice, you have to practice. Hmm? Okay, um, that's all. Thank you very much. And see you in the next presentation.